I'm going to keep my full my paper so that the flat edge is towards me. And I'm going to do a valley fold. So I'm going to fold it top to bottom. Crease it and a valley fold is if I open it back up, this fold points down. Okay, so I have a valley fold. Now I'm going to fold it in half again. Okay, notice I didn't I didn't open it back up and fold it. I left it folded. I'm folding it over again. Okay, I'm going to line these up really good. So now you kind of have two little pockets, right? There's a pocket here, there's a pocket here. I'm going to start by using just one pocket. I'm going to open it up. Okay, kind of stick my finger down at the end. And I want this fold to come down towards me. And I'm going to fold it down to the bottom. And if you do that correctly, it should make a triangle. Okay, I'm going to flip my paper over and do that again. So here's this square piece. Okay, here's this square piece. I have my pocket. I stick my finger way down into the point of that. And keeping these side folds exactly where they're at, Okay, I'm pinching them here so they they don't move, but sliding this down, making another triangle. Okay. Notice that when I folded those, I went really slow. I was really careful to make sure that my ends still meet correctly. Okay, if you fold it too fast, these pieces can still kind of wiggle and come out, and it'll upset the edges of your triangles. And we don't want that. Okay, so now I kind of have these four little pieces. It kind of looks like a Christmas tree because it's green. I'm going to take one of those flaps and I'm going to do um, a kite fold really. But I'm going to fold this edge. I'm going to flip it behind okay, into the center. And I'm going to make this line up with this fold in here. So I kind of flip them around my thumb. You can see my thumb down here is still kind of in there to keep keep that original fold in place. But I'm going to pull this tight. Okay, pull it kind of tight. So I know that that edge is lined up at the center. When I know I have that, okay, I've checked my tip. It's not slipped out. Then I'm going to crease it. Okay. You can see it lined up correctly. I flipped it in there. Okay, then I'm going to go back over here. Do the same with the other side. So my thumb is underneath. I'm going to make this edge fold back and in, kind of curling it around. making sure it's tight into that fold. Then I'm going to fold it in. Okay, you've just made your frog's feet. Frog legs. Mmm. Okay, now I'm going to take my other two pieces and these I'm going to fold up. Okay, I'm also going to fold them into this kind of center piece though, so I'm not you know, so they're, they, these are going to fold forward. OK, 
Okay. So, but I'm going to do the same thing. I want this edge here to line up with this center here. So, I'm going to curl it up around my finger. Okay, I get it nice and lined up. Then I pull it out just a little bit. Okay, I have it I have it lined up so I know that it's meeting down here. Okay? So I'm going to put my finger on that, and I'm going to pull this out just a little bit. Increase it. I can lay my leg back down. You've just made your frog's hand. I'm going to do the same thing over here. So I'm going to get, get that leg out of the way. I'm going to fold this side inside. So I'm going to kind of curl it around my finger. line it up and yeah, put my finger on that then pull it out just a little bit you probably want it to be even with your other hand then when I have that I'm gonna crease it put my leg back down there we go now we're gonna make our little feet I'm just going to take this do the same thing curl it around over my hand I like it a little foot. Do the same thing on this side. Okay, curl it around my finger. Until I have a little foot. Are my feet even? They're not. So I'm going to make my feet a little bit closer to even. There. Looks good. Flip your little froggy over. And you can give him a face. Your frog is done.